Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's Greg again with a kit review. Um, looking forward to this. Um, I do like the, the first panther, the panther airs and things like that, with the, uh, the Zimmer it and all the early stuff. It's, uh, I've got the, uh, done the Meng Panther Air late as well, so this will you know, go nicely with that one. So, it's the new kit, it's by Meng and it's 135 scale as normal. And it's a Panther Aus A Early. And it says, on the kit it says, it says this Panther Aus A Early model kit perfectly represents the tank's exteriors and details. The kit includes multi-optional multi parts and provides various assembly options. This kit includes multiple, I've heard that bit on me, blah blah blah. Uh, it includes tracks, ice cleats, fine PE parts, metal cables, uh, metal side skirts, blah blah blah. Um, movable action, movable tracks, running gear, and parts. Anyhow, we're looking, we're going to it. So it's a new kit from Meng. It's a Panther Air, and the kit number is. Let's find it. And there we are, is TS046, that's TS046, nice artwork, I do like that artwork, it's very nice, is it by Jason again, no it's somebody by, somebody by 2021, Carlos, I can't quite make out the other part, Chikaz, Chikaz, more like that, it's part of a Tyrannos, Tyrannosaurus range in here. On the side there we have a one colour call out with the MIG paint as well, or IK sorry. Very easy match them up, I'm probably have a lot of them anyhow, and there's just a colour profile of one. This is the one I'm going to build, is this side. Which is the winter version with the uh, Zimmerit, I'm going to try and do the um, Zimmerit with. Not with that one. with this stuff here this is from girodesign.com and it's a zimmerit paste oh, I haven't opened it yet so that's what I'm going to attempt to use so it's on their website and there's a website if you want to have a look girodesign.com so it's called Z, Z, Z paste or Z paste if you're American I suppose and obviously what's it got in the back of it just uh, it's uh, Can't read the writing's too small, but that's what I'm going to use anyhow. Right, so let's get into this kit. Let's get into it. I had a quick look. Nothing. 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 I haven't even taken the sprues. Just opened the box lid and had a look. And the first thing you see is this from Men. It's a competition you can enter doing. Uh, obviously, a Men kit. Uh, you send photographs in of uh, your build log. And obviously at the end, and there's a competition every month from February till December. There's a monthly draw, and you win. What did it say? Da -da 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 -da. The monthly contest, the winner will get 300 US dollars. <coughs> Second place will get 200. Third place will get 100. And the modeler's choice of the month contest will get 200. And then obviously the final, you know, obviously throughout the whole year, the first place of the final will get 1,500 US dollars and a, and a medal. Second place will get 1,000 US dollars and a medal. Third place will get 500 dollars and a medal. And modeler's choice of the final will get 1,000 US dollars. So, you know, worth, worth a little, you know, map up my, uh, I'll do the Meng Jumbo, which I'm building at the moment. I might stick that in. Nothing, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say, so. That was a bit different. So we're we'll right into the tracks now, so we'll, we'll just move the box out of the way up there. And we'll start with these. Oh, they've, gone, they've gone to me away with these, with these deadly staples. Oh, let's have a look. There's three sprues. Um, can I not move them out of the way without knocking my cup of tea over? That's more like it. Let's have a look. Individual guide arms. Well, detail is nice. And there is no sink marks, which is fantastic. Take a bit of doing with the um, 
individual guide-ons, but tracks are nicely detailed. They really are. And that's some usual colour for Meng's kits. So I know they have the uh, was red the last one with the Meng Panther air. It's like a whitey grey. Never seen before. A nice detail on the tracks. You've got the ice cleats on there as well. If you look carefully. And now nice detail and they say on the reverse where you usually get the sink marks you have nothing which is fantastic so it's a great start to the kit a lot of kids get let down with the tracks with, uh, not the detail but sometimes with the uh, sink marks or whatever you want to call them so I shall put these into the lid and the floor Continue with the lower half of the hull. We um, we have the running gear again. Get into here again. Highly dangerous staples. And there's two screws, identical screws, so there's no need to uh, look at both. Again. What I'm looking for is the detail, obviously we've been a branch bank in new kit, you wouldn't expect any flash or anything like that. Details are pretty nice, the wheel detail is superb, it really is. And on the reverse as well. And these are the, are these the little ice cleats or something, I think these must be the cleats or something to do with these. Yeah, they're uh, in, hollowed out nicely. But all the parts are really nice, really nicely done. Even the exhaust has got the, uh, you know, the texture on the exhaust there, the cast texture on the exhaust. And the wheels are superb. Let's put my hand behind it just in case. You can't see, but yeah, they're really nice. Obviously we've got details there for the, in the back of the uh, engine deck. Got the fan. Lots of little bits and bobs. Even on the reverse, the details on the wheels are really nice. This part must be um, like a, a, a bracing for the uh, lower hull, I would have thought. But yeah, yeah, suspension arms, again nicely done. Nicely protected with these um, like extra parts on there to protect the actual uh, tops of the uh, Suspension arms, that's really nice, really nicely done that. So far so good, happy, happy, happy. And again, we're on, I think this is sort of the muck guards and side sponsons and things like that. And again, there's just a one sprue in this bag. The uh, track, track holder there, that must be a jig for your tracks to get that sag. Muck guards, mm, nicely thin, yeah, thin enough, nothing wrong with those. And again, it's all nicely moulded. Barrel cleaning rods, you've got some of the Pioneer tools, a, a, um, a nice fire extinguisher wire cutters, tanker bar, everything, Is that flash, mm, it is, touch of flash there, but that's no problem to get that off, right, so yeah, we've got the track jig, uh, for obviously for making the, uh, the sag, and all the pioneer tools there, and it says I didn't think there'd be any flash, and there's just a bit where my finger is there, but that's no problem, Again, muck guards, uh, part of the engine deck, hatches, they're all nicely moulded, nicely detailed. Yep, happy with that. And again, well, we have similar to what we had on the Panther Air with the log, and it really was a nicely detailed, uh, like, unditching log, square one, really nicely, un uh, you know, nicely rendered, as I say. I think we'll probably have the same sort of effect again on this one. We have the uh, glacis plate, front plate on there. More exhaust. Uh, looks like a another kind of log. More wheels. 
jerry cans jack oh, I like the texture even though I got the two um, ball mounts but look at the cast texture on the um, even though I'm going to use zimmer, but do the model you can make it without the zimmer. But look at the cast texture on that. Look, cast texture, the uh, rolled steel texture. Oh, that's superb. That's really, really impressive. And I say, we uh, made this on the back of the Panther Air a few years ago, and it was really nicely, you know, rendered. The actual looks like wood when you've coloured it and whatever. It came out really well. And with another long log at the bottom as well. Got a seam going right through it though, but that should be take a little problem to get that out. And there's the ball mount, we got that nice texture again on there. Yeah, Jerry cans, and your track cleaning rods, everything. And that one. Quite a bit of plastic in this box, you know, it's not a, a five minute kit as they say. We have the uh, poly cap. I'll lose those and I'll put the poly cap back in this bag so we don't lose them. This is good for the wheels so obviously we can take the wheels off and on, I presume. Right, so let's have a look at this. Yeah, nice detail again. Yeah. Upper hole, well nicely done. Obviously you got the plates to go on the front of that. Nice engine deck. Nicely done there. Then we've got the side of the uh, Panther <coughs> as well. Small parts. Okay, and then we have the, uh, the rear. So, which is nice indeed. So obviously everything's got to be added to that as well. So, looks nice. I mean, it would be a shame to cover things up sometimes with Zimmer, but if it's the one to do it historically correct, I suppose you're uh, going to have to. I do fancy doing the A1, though, I must admit, the uh, one with the. I think it's called a waffle Zimmer, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll be trying my hand at that. I guess around to building it. Whenever that'll be, I don't know. As you know, I don't build fast. And this is the. The lower hub, well, lower parts. Okay, nice um, final drive. The storage boxes for the re for the rear. Yes, this is going to be built similar to the Panther Air. In uh, well, built yeah, individually with the uh, yeah. yeah you got the lower hull there. Very sorry, the bottom of it. And you got the two, the, uh, two side parts, you've got lots of detail on there to add, but it's, it's nicely done. We've got the uh, final drive, uh, quite nicely detailed again. Uh, the storage boxes for the rear. These parts are here for the suspension inside the tank. Put these in. If I remember rightly, I've got to make sure, and they've got, they've got actually, uh, if you look in there closely, they've got the clipping this obviously suspension sits in that at the right correct angle unless you wanted to make it move or so you just nip them off depends on what you want to do if I remember rightly the last time with the uh, Panther Air the wheels were quite tight so I have to make sure you um, just sand the ends of the actual uh, suspension arms just ever so slightly I'll, ch I'll check out eventually when I do build it because uh, I broke one, one off on my Panther Air luckily I got it back on but um, it was a bit of a bugger. What's that? Right, so now we have the upper hull. Gun is one piece with a uh, yeah, yeah, slide molded uh, MG 34s or 44s or whatever, a slide molded. Um, Muzzle, we've got two two um, mantlets, we've got that nice detail on there again. Nice texture. It's the upper hull. Obviously it's all going to be built around that frame. In a minute I'll show you the frame. These are the sides. 
And there's the frame, it can build up around that frame like it's exactly the same. Because obviously I think it was for the internal kit as well, a bit the same sort of thing. Presuming to make the same sprues for that and this. And there's the uh, bit of a bit of detail inside for the gun model. We've got the um, the breach in that there. Again, nicely detailed. Come on, you know, look at the hatch. He's even got that texture on there. A couple of these uh, bits and bobs have as well. Some fine parts there. These are the ends for the uh, muzzle brake. From the muzzle, sorry. Which is all nice. So then you only got that slight seam to take out of the barrel, which is next to nothing. And the two inject the two marks where it's attached to the sprue. And the MGs here, they're showing the MGs, I can't remember if I did or not. There we are, there we go. And they're slide moulded, so you've got the, uh, if you can pick it up, the uh, holes in the end. Finally done, must admit. See them there. And the uh, bow machine gun, as see, there's the beside the muzzle, that's got a that's been slide and molded as well. I don't know if you, if you can pick that up or not. That's got a. It's been slide and molded, so you don't have to worry about those. Oh, the mantle, it's quite nice, I can't see the difference. Oh, yes, it's got uh, two viewing points to one. Yeah, nice. Right, more wheels. We have more sets of wheels and more exhausts. So we're going to have to do bits box then. So I'll just take one of these out. I don't need both. So get one out without damaging the other. I'll we'll have to take both out of one of them. We'll pop that one down there. Again, the wheels are, you know, superb. Really are. Really nicely done. The detail is fantastic. Again, we have the uh, nice cast texture on the uh, on the exhaust. Some other bits and pieces. This is the uh, front sprocket that's nicely detailed. Not too sure what that part is. But we'll find out. But there again, got these nicely detailed wheels. Again, I'll have to look into it when we get to the instructions. I've got that on the top there. I'm not unsure what that part's for, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Nice sprocket there. Which is nicely detailed as well. So we've got some nice detail in this kit, very nice detail. And again, we have another sprue with more mantlets, more sides of the tank, and the cupola. And the cupola. You see, with any date on these, it says TS3823. 218 after 2018 is it? I'm going to have to check on the sprues and I should have done that. I've uh, got lovely detail again on the uh, driver's hatch and the radio and the bow machine gunner. That's the internal. If you can have them. Even though they're, they're slide out but it's still got nice detail. I know you've got them two big sink marks there but they will file out quite easily. Yeah, so we've got some more more mantlets, more sides for different versions of the tank we'll presume. Um, again we have another front plate again which is for the air presumably because it's got no machine uh, ball mount has it. So the uh, ball mounts are going to be uh, coming useful for the, uh, another build eventually. More storage boxes, commander's cupola, another uh, roof for the turret. Other bits and pieces, some small pieces. I don't know what they are. That's for the aerial. The top there is for the aerial with my hand is my finger is there. That's for the aerial. All these little bits and pieces are all nicely deep. These are the clasps for your um, I would think they're for the tow cables, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong. But possibly are. Again, nicely done. Got another jack as well and a bit more few more um, Pioneer tools so quite a lot yeah yeah yep 
yep, yep. And that's the end of the plastic, so let's have a look what we're going in. No, sorry, it's not the end of the plastic. We have uh, clear parts for periscopes and the commander's coup, but I won't take them out of the bag. Nice and clear as normal, as normal, good quality. I don't want to lose them, so I'll leave them in the bag. I'm going to scratch. And then we have um, PE. Oh, look what we've got here. Ready, stay close. Painted bump. Right, let's have a look what we've got in here. First of all, we have two. It's a wire and it's pliable, which is nice as well. So you can use this for the tow cable. So we have two of those. Excuse me, we have two of those. I'm not sure what that is. It's 100% uh, what they are. We'll find out the decals on the instructions. They look nice. One piece of PE, we have the obligatory decals, which has just got numbers and that on, so we'll probably use me um, stencils to see what it's like with going over the Zimmerit. But mang, de mang decals are really nice anyhow, there's no problem with them. So we'll see how, we'll see how we get on anyhow. But yeah, not much carrier film at all, and they're quite matte, they're not shiny at all. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, like those. Pop that back in that bag, and then we have the uh, side skirts, which are PE as well, as the ones for air work on the other air one as well. Yeah, so got the side, they're quite thin as well, about the right scale, I would have thought. And then we have engine covers, hatch a um, I know there for the fuel cans, and they've got two handles for the buckets. I've never seen the buckets. Um, Site for the MG, just a nice usual piece of PE, which is nicely, nicely done again. Both got that nice protection on them, so you just peel one side off, and then you uh, the pings won't go everywhere when you cut them off. So, so that's all the kit, which is quite a substantial kit, and it, it wasn't particularly expensive either. It came from China, and I got it within within ten days. So what have we got here? How do we go into this? Is it a resealable bag? Can I get into the thing? Right, I'm using a knife, whatever that's at. There's something in here as well, apart from the decals, apart from the instructions, which we shall find out momentarily. Right, so let's see what we've got. First of all, we have on one side. Now we have some Panther D standard snorkel was cancelled on the chassis and the Panther A of the Panther A. Bit of, a bit of gumph on the uh, Panther. Obviously in Chinese, Japanese, a bit of English as well. You know what I'm saying about the sides for the, uh, the turret. It's got those. We've got uh, Panther D and early Panther A, and same with the mantlets as well. Panther A, early Panther D. Yeah, so again, you know, giving you some nice little pictures there to follow, and uh, you know what you're sort of building then. And again, we have on the reverse again for the engine deck. Panther A on the bottom. As well, I think I've got the Panther D as well by Meng, so I didn't get any of this in it, I don't think. I've obviously got uh, a bit of history there. I think it's too, you'll never get it all in shot to read, but that's a bit different. It's a bit different in the kit. We'll look at that properly after. And then we have the destructions again, booklet form, nice glossy picture on the front. The same with the box art. Uh, about the right size, not too big and bulky, usual sort of gunk on the inside, do's and don'ts and the tools you need. 
and then we start off as normal with um, the running gear but you'll have there are four options for this model as shown in the drawing please select one before you start to refer to the paint scheme for details so I'll be doing I will be doing A which is the winter one so obviously you have to make sure you're getting the right wheels for the right for the right version and the same with the sprockets as well and then there we are building up the uh, lower tub with the um, bracing as well oh, and obviously you've got a few holes to drill yeah yeah so you've got sprockets for times two for the A, C and D yeah and sprockets for the A so you've got two different kinds of sprockets one for the A and one for the B yeah that's good polycaps in those as well and with the wheels and all turn your parts as you're going along you have to make sure you read each you know each part section you're going from and there again you're putting the suspension arms on it won't be attached well I could attach the wheels but the polycaps so at least I'll get them on there and get them set up so the run uh, so it's sitting firm and straight on the bottom and then we start with a bit of PE by the looks of it, I think, or maybe not. On the reverse, on the rear of a tank. And we've got the, I think that's for the uh, tow, the towing arm, isn't it? Apart from the, something to do with the towing, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember if the uh, late air had one on. And then we have building up the jacks and the exhausts. Again, you have to make sure you're choosing the right ones. And then again with the tracks, it's 87 track lengths per side. And you see you've got that jig there to get that nice sag as well. So quite nice. Obviously you've got to, uh, and it says about putting, you know, the ice cleats, uh, you can put, install the F2, F25 in ice cleats as per your need. Okay, so you put them on, you don't have to have them on. But if I'm doing the winter version, I presume I'd have to put them on. And then we're starting with the upper hull. You've got the uh, parts showing on the reverse side there with the fans. I've got drill holes. And again, fastening, making it, making the actual hull up with the rear. Um, the front glasses plate and a couple of hatches. And there as well, sorry, hatches for the grill covers and the sides. Nicely laid out. Yeah, I like this idea. Do similar to uh, truck or two right here with the parts in one colour that you're actually attaching to the uh, one you've already built which is a nice idea so again besides sponsors you have to drill them out what parts you need to drill sorry about that my memory card was full so where were we at oh yeah starting with the uh, you know putting the side sponsons on and hatches on the upper hull and then we're starting again obviously carrying on with the upper hull with all the uh, bits and bobs Headlight and things like that. And they're still carrying on by the track track hangers from the rear of the tank. All the bits and pieces. Gunnel travel lock. Again, side the um, spench the arms for the um, side skirt panels, whatever you want to call them. And we're attaching the lower hole and the upper hole together. Probably won't be doing that at that point. Well, unless I do the weather of the hole at the bottom first. But I wouldn't have thought so. We'll see how we get on with that. And again, it's all nicely laid out. And there's only a few items on each. Again, but then make sure you're choosing the correct stuff for the correct version you're doing. As well. And it's nice that you get the actual track pins for the spare track as well. Which is nice. So... That makes it a bit nicer, isn't it? It's a bit somewhat different. I haven't seen that for a while in a kit. And again, carrying on still on the upper hull, adding things throughout the gun cleaning canister as well. And we're still carrying on here. We are the bad the side skirts, the tow, the tow cables. It's telling you the thick cable and the tow cable. Yeah and gives you the measure 110 millimeters long for the cables fire extinguisher 
tells you to paint it before it's added and again it's giving you the numbers the colour you can paint it before they add to the tank which I usually do anyhow but with the winter version I might be doing slightly different and then we're starting on the uh, the turret so we didn't show you that bit all the uh, side skirts and the uh, whatever on there and then we're starting on the, uh, the turret again making sure you choose the correct one and again we're building that up and building it up fairly straightforward and we're starting on the sort of the gun breech on the inside and then we do we actually put the barrel together and then we have all the MGs to do it's giving you obviously make sure it again that you're choosing the correct one so nicely detailed as well and then you've got the commander's cupola at the bottom there with the uh, clear parts hopefully I'll leave that loose until it's painted and I can add the um, add it towards the end with the clear part in then we're attaching the lower hole and the turret together so it's nice it's a nice looking build it's not overly fiddly as well so give you got the paint call outs for Meng AK and Acrison water based colours it's giving you the actual colours as well you got so you got matte black matte white transparent red transparent green rubber black wood brown field grey German earth yellow German light olive green, German red brown, gunmetal, steel, and metallic grey, which I don't think I've got. Should have a panel that would be used for. And then we got the, um, which is nice. I do like the kids do this now. Obviously, got the spring off there, but you know, you usually find that sometimes in the front. Very pale, isn't it? Just make it out. But at least you can see it. And then, and then we're starting on the colour call out, which is nice. You got a few four versions, I think it said. Come on. The neck. There we go. So you got the one that I want to build that's on the front of the box, which is gives you the unit, does it? Yeah, number one or number eleven or two HQ, second battalion, twenty-third panzer regiment, Wehrmacht, Eastern Front, nineteen forty-three. Is which I'll be doing. Surprise it made it to the front. And then we got the same one with the Zimmerit again. We have number 221, 1st Battalion, 15th Panzer Regiment, 11th Panzer Division, Wehrmacht, Eastern Front, 1943 again. So presumably that is you know, basically have similar markings underneath there before you put the whitewash on. I would presume it would be very similar. If not identical, it won't be identical, but. We'll see. We'll see how we get along with it. And then we have another couple of options. All with Zimmerit apart. Yeah, they're all with Zimmerit. Every single one of them. Uh, again, nicely deep, nice, you know, rear, front, look down, both sides. And that one is the 613, 2nd Battalion, 5th Panzer Regiment, Waffen SS, Cowell, Poland in spring 1944. So that's a later. I don't think any of them Panzer Airs like left by then. You wouldn't have thought so, would you? You wouldn't have thought so, obviously there was. And then we have his command tank, it says, number 11, command vehicle, HQ, 1st Battalion, 4th Panzer Regiment, Wehrmacht, Florence, Italy, summer 1944, as well. And that's it. But so we've got nice, a nice kit. I so yeah, I want to try and attempt to do that one, I think. I want to get around to building it. Uh, don't, I've only ever done one whitewash. Winter tank, and that was a, a modernish vehicle. I can't remember it was now. It was third build, I think. Obviously, I've improved a little bit by then, so we'll uh, I'll give that a crack. So yeah, so a nice kit, a nice kit, and not too expensive either. So I recommend it. I would think, yeah, for the amount of plastic you get, and it looks a nicely detailed as well. So yeah. So I hope you're all keeping well and keeping safe and looking after yourselves and uh, thank you again for subscribing and all my old subscribers and my new subscribers, thank you very much. Uh, the next update I'll be doing is have an update on how I'm getting on with the, uh, with the Jumbo. I've, uh, I always start by making the tracks first, I've been doing that recently on a lot of my kits, I build the tracks up first which I've done on the, on the, on the Jumbo. 
to show you them on the next update so we'll catch you very soon with that and this is greg signing off and we'll catch you very very soon